Hello, YouTubers and fan club members alike. Okay, now, I just found something out, and I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, if you want to learn, keep the channel on. If you don't, turn it. Okay, check this out. Now, I don't know about you guys. I've been doing this for quite a spell, and... All I can say is, I can always admit, A, when I'm wrong, B, when I don't know something or didn't know something, etc., etc., yada, yada. So, I am going to tell you right here and now that I thought that all these bricks made for the Pyrotechnic Guild, meaning the... Uh, the black rooster and then they put out another one it's got a barn on it I have it I can't remember the name uh, you know it's got like inside foil the shiny it's got foil it's wrapped in foil but it's like the shiny side of tin foil you know what I mean and they're one and one half inches though so anyway and then of course you got the 25th anniversary brick uh, that came out in uh, 1994, I believe, because uh, PGI started in 1969. Okay, so, now, <clears throat> I'm here thinking, this is what I always thought, too, by the way, so you learn every day. Listen to this. Someone sent me a gift, and one kind of cracker I did not have. I don't have all of them anyway of the PGI. The one that I did not have, I'm soon going to show you. But one I did have, besides the two bricks of the Black Roosters, um, was the, was, uh, well, I'm not going to show you it yet because I've explained it this way. So I didn't, so I only had one of this. It's called the Country Style brand. Okay. So now because of the one he recently sent me, which was these. They are the best, hands down, ever made. Period. The Super Big Pig brand 2-inch canning crackers, and that's just what they are. And they're crimped. And they have no clay at all. Look at those recesses. And you can squeeze them. You understand, Kabish? Okay, look at this. Look at the size of them sons of bitches. Look at those. I mean, you understand what I'm saying, right? And they still call them quarter inch, which is like BS. Let me explain something real quick oh, oh, without going off course here. You know how the uh, old Thunderbomb bricks, uh, any of the old crackers that were rolled by hand on a uh, whatever they used to roll it on, right? Dowel, whatever. They all say one and one half uh, by a quarter inch, right? Okay. I, you all know that when you see one of those old Thunder Bombs, a Daisy, or even older, whatever, that they are not no quarter inch. Now, if you go and get a tube from, say, Cannon Fuse or whatever, you know what I mean, to make a bottle rocket in, etc., etc., they're going to be closer. Uh, well, these really are just about a quarter inch, meaning it's like I'm holding a, a cannon fuse uh, tube. You know what I'm saying? Now, I just happen to have one here somewhere. Give me a second. I want to get a real... Well, anyway... I can't find a damn, uh... Alright, we're just gonna use one of these. Fuse is broke, it doesn't matter. It does justice for what I'm trying to show. And, uh... Oh, I actually made this myself. These are little tubes. They're the smallest tubes you'll ever find, um... On your own. And a real, real, real old friend gave these to me. But they're so small they don't come with plugs or nothing, so, like... I put a um, 
I don't know what is that, a piece of tissue and then a little bit of dry glue on it. Long time ago, it's just been sitting here. Point being is, this says it's a quarter inch. And this is a tube. It was not hand rolled. And this is no quarter inch. I mean, come on. Anyway, what I was trying to say was that whenever whenever anything is handmade, like all the old crackers, well, look, uh, if, if, if one company or, or one day they roll it 23 wraps with a certain millimeter paper, which is usually very low grade, but great for firecrackers, right? Right? Okay. Well, what happens is, whenever you make anything by hand, you're never going to have, you know, like, an exact quarter inch, unless you measured the paper, and you said, well, look, 32 wraps is equivalent to a quarter inch or something, but they don't do them all the same, so that's why, when all the crackers all through the years say one and one half by quarter inch, not really a quarter inch, because all you got to do is go get a real quarter inch tube. And, well, you can put the firecracker inside it. You know what I'm saying? And, well, that's because they they were handmade. End of story. Okay, so now, how does that bring us back? Why did I bring that up? Well, because I'm just trying to tell you that... Look at these SOBs. Look at these. Look at the holes. And look how big these crackers are. And they're called salutes. And I'll be damned if they're not. You know, they're two inch by at least three eighths. You know what I'm saying to you? Okay. Now, but that's not. All right. Now, these things, it says right here. Look what it says. Uh... For professional use only. Um, you know, and these things really are... Uh, they're crimped. They're just flash paper and a, and a paper fuse. That's it. Meaning, hotter than a cow pie. The mother of all firecrackers. Now, here's what I don't understand. Number one. This is where the learning comes in for anybody who's interested in collecting. Okay. Number one. If PGI is allowed to do this because of the, you know, the professionals up there, etc., etc., and you can do whatever you want up there, and they're allowed to have crackers made like this in 97, we were already into UN, and way past the 1977 50 milligram law, all I'm trying to say is, why didn't they freaking make them every year? What I mean is, meaning, why did they go and then in the next year, example only, uh, you know, make the the ones with the aluminum foil that were one and one half inch by a quarter with all clay? You know what I'm saying, dude? Meaning, you know, anyone at PGI would love to have these every year, even if they were under a different name. What I'm saying is, why don't they always make them like this for PGI, at least? Anyway, that's still not what I'm talking about. I'm here looking, a friend just sent, a good friend just sent these to me. And, well, he sent, you know, he sent me a few, you know, all right? Okay, now, here's when I, I thought I was losing it, you know, like, okay, I got Alzheimer's. Okay, listen, now. I see Field of Stars, and it says 1997. Well, look, I haven't lost it yet, at least I don't think. And so I'm here saying, well, wait a minute here. Now, wait a minute here. Well, weren't the Black Roosters from 97 or 98? And so I had just one of these, I told you. And it wasn't far. It was on my desk, and it's just been sitting there for a few years, and... I just said, let me go see what year that one's from, because I know that I made that for the PGI, right? Follow? All right. I said, son of a bitch. Field of Stars, 1997. So then, started reading this, where it says, well, you can see it. So I said, oh, this must have been made for the Iowa Pyrotechnics Guild. Like, trying to see why these bolts say... 97 
And then I said, well, here's the final straw. Let me go get a, a 50 strip of the Black Roosters, which I'm not going to do now. But trust me, they say 98. So what I found out is, as you can see, P Pyrotechnics Guild International is PGI, duh. Okay, and here we got the same thing, PGI. So... Here's what I'm saying that I just found out that I did not know. That year, in 97, they didn't just make the best crackers they ever made, but they also made ones just like the Black Roosters. They're a little bigger, called the Country Style brand. So, and they even put sort of like the Field of Stars... Oh, no, it says the Field of Stars, even. I was going to say it was the same banner, but I thought something. So, anyway, look, they did the same thing, and it's the same sort of country thing, me and a pig on a farm, and then you actually have a farm here. Anyway, point being, I thought every year since whenever they started in 69 that they made some kind of a brick of crackers. And I know you know what I'm saying. So... I'm here to say, look how cool these are for those of you who have not obtained them. And I'm also here to say, son of a B. In this same year, if you went to PGI in 97, they made bricks of these for you to buy. And bricks of these. Difference being, these are real crimped and like hand rolled crackers, but they must have paid a lot. But that's because it was for the pyrotechnic guild and i'm sure if there were 40 dollars a brick anybody at the pgi the way they spend money when they go there would have gladly bought these every year you know what i'm saying to you meaning why go from this and then the same the same nine or ten days they had it that year in 97 why even make these with the clay that are so well, it's a projectile, it's dangerous, but it's nothing like these. So, on top of that being said, why did why did the next year, 98, they went and took out the Black Roosters, all clay, and yeah, they're, they're, they're good shooters, but they ain't going to hold a candle to these, all right? So, what I'm saying is I thought they made a new batch every year. You understand? And I'm here saying, oh my God. So you're saying they, you know, it's only in one spot every year, whether it's Fargo or, you know what I mean, right? So so, so I'm saying, so obviously they had, they made two bricks this year. I mean, for that one, either seven to ten days, it's usually in length. Now you can go there for one day, as you know, and, and go home, or you can stay the whole time. Whatever. My point being that for this year, that year, 97, they made two different brands. And, you know, one with 20 strips of this, one with 20 strips of this. And, well, anybody who knew their stuff all grabbed one of these and probably got one of these just to have it. But I'm sure they felt the weight of clay versus these. These things are like air. For how many there are, 50. They're like, you know, they're just crimped. And no bullshit. These, oh my god, they're like three, almost four times heavier. And that's with no scale. Alright, so that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how these work. I'll take a vid when I fire, because I'm definitely going to fire a strip up at the farm. I'll show you a vid when I take, and we'll do some kind of a... I'll put like you know one in a bag of flour or something. I I I I don't know, but or no, what I'll do is, well, I didn't want to open my only thing of this, but I got a couple of these. But what I, what I'd like to do is weigh the contents. But look, we both know. Trust me, these are the best crackers ever made, ever, uh, for PGI. You know, and I couldn't believe that they made. You know, and I, you know, for the same event, they made two different kinds for you to buy. Yet, they didn't have a sign, I bet, saying these are made of clay. 
this is old school. You should buy these. Or you know what I mean. Anyway, so I showed you them. And now I got something else cool to show you. You know that we collect, uh, you know, we, we usually like just getting the old stuff. Uh, you know what I mean. But we all are guilty of, you know, getting some Class 7 stuff. And, um, but that's only because there has to be a good reason. And what I mean is, like, Texas Loud, Texas Proud. I brought a, br a brick of those a few years back because of the, the, the see-through red sallow and that it's got what I call the Frito Bandito Man, you know, the guy with the hat and the two guns, you know, on every cracker. So they're logos, and, well, they're cool. So that's why I invested in them. Anyway. There's some Class 7s I'll go after. Example, like I got Flying Dragon, Flying Dragon, a small brick, uh, 4016, and they got logos, and I got a pack of 4024, that's rare, and they got logos. They only did that like the first three months they made them, and then they just went to plain red. Now, check this out. Two cool things. I just got two packs of these okay I'm gonna give you guys a second to see what do you see that's different that's that is not on this package I'm not gonna give you that long because you should be able to, to like already be yelling it okay if you didn't get it by now I'm gonna tell you there is no designations on these packs. All they say is made in China. If the warning wasn't there, which it is, you'd be thinking the Indies were class one, meaning as far as the the uh, the classification system goes. Um, now, you could say, oh, no, 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 I got the answer. These are class zero for the foreign market. Uh, it's not that either. Why? Because the foreign market didn't put warnings like these on firecrackers because they didn't have to go by the U.S. classification system. So, these are just a freak or whatever. But on top of that, these... Now, remember, I told you about the dragon ones I got that are really hard to get that have logos. But these Red Devils, literally within three, four weeks, if you went back to the store, they were red. For real. No exaggeration. So anyway, look at these. As you can see, you see the black. I know you can see that. You may not be able to see it perfect, but you can see they're not all red. Meaning, these are, there's black on them. And it's the devil, the same devil on the front against a red cracker, and it's all over it. And it's even starting to pull it in closer, see it? It says red devil, see the R-E-D? And then it's got the devil. If you can't see it, trust me, these are logos, and they got the red devil. And while I'm at it, I'll show you one other thing. Okay, this is something really cool that I also just found out. Okay, just give me one second here. Okay, here we go. This is actually really cool for any new collectors and any collectors in general. All right, I went out to South Carolina, as you all know. I took you with me, or I tried to. Brought you into all the stores. Okay, these are the Vixens. These are not being made no more because the price of metal went up as high as 28% with copper. And, well, you got copper for blue, strontium for red, barium for green, etc., etc. Now, once these are gone, they're gone from Shelton. So you, anybody who's into this... And these, by the way, are not um, one fourth inch. These are nine slash thirty two diameter 
by 1 and 5 eighths. Okay. And these really work. It's, just, it's not like just the fuse or... These really uh, almost look like a jumping jack. They're not spinning, though, and they make a big green ball of either red or green, just like it says. And then they explode, and they're definitely... I don't care what anyone says. These things are, like, as good as a daisy any any day. They're, they're, they're really good. Okay, here's what I noticed now. Uh, I brought a new brick home, okay? All right. Now, a friend sent me... So I wouldn't have to open the brick. He sent me some shooters. Some ones he had just purchased. Okay. I had found this one pack. I didn't even know I had. Uh, but I'm glad I found it because it taught me a lot. And you're going to see what. Okay, number one. You see how the new ones versus the old ones. These are beautiful. If you could only see the picture. They're green, dark green, and then a chiffon green, and then white. And they really look nice. They're like modern versions of, like, supercharged. And then here is, like, a bright yellow with a chiffon yellow and white. And they're just really nice looking, whether it's a 1,000 strip or a 16. All right? All right. Now, new one, I had heard that they had... Turned them to red to try and save money, but obviously they're not going to make them no more because they couldn't save enough money. But anyway, the new ones are just totally red, generic red, and also they are not as large. And also, here's what I found out. So, you're probably saying to yourself, maybe some of you who watch this in the future or even now are saying, oh man, I want to go down and get some. But how do I know? Because I just went down and just pulled these off. You know, right off, you know, where all the Vixen bricks, tons of them were. And I came home with the older ones, meaning really nice in looks. And definitely a stronger bang and everything else, etc., etc. So, if you're saying, well, how can I tell if if the Shelton I go to, because I live in Louisiana or wh wherever, uh, how do I tell if it's... Okay, here's how you tell. I found out, and that's what I'm sharing with you. Okay. I went and got my new brick and looked at the brick number. It says Shelton 2000, which is telling me that's when they came out. But anyway, check it out. This is my older pack, and it says SF550. These are the ones with the stripes, and these say SF554. So instead of 550, they're 554. These are the new ones that are just generic red, and these are much better. They have more comp in them. I haven't lit in either, but I'm going by size, and size doesn't matter when it comes to crackers. Okay, so now. What I'm trying to tell you is the brick has the same number. So you go into a Shelton's so you can grab one or two bricks of these depending on how much you like them. Um, or maybe you don't even care, but for those of, the, of those of you who do, you want to look for SF-550 and you will know that you possess a brick of these. And I'm sure that numbers on the rolls and the strips and and anything else, but now you can tell the difference, and I just found it out last night, so I'm sharing it with all you people who care about pyro and care about such things. Now, um, look at the size of the pack, and remember, these are both eights. See, see the one on the bottom, the one with the stripes and stuff? Look how large you're meaning that's because the crackers are wider, so it, well, self-explanatory. Okay, now one more thing I'm going to share that I just noticed last night. And this was just a freak accident, obviously. One of the ones that I got that's new, and I never seen this, fuse was just sticking out. See, so just like light that and throw it. But anyway, who cares? This is what I want to show you. 
Let's count the crackers in these real quick. He's got eight. That's a no-brainer. You can count them. Four, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, look how many crackers this has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven crackers on each side. So this is a 14 pack, not a 16. And it was obviously some kind of screw up, but I just threw that in just for the fun of it. Just showing you that uh, if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find different things, right? I mean, weird things and oddities and whatnot. So, I'm pretty done this, and yet it's a 25-minute vid. But anyway, I think I uh, showed you guys some cool stuff and uh, made it so that uh, if you go spend almost 22 bucks on a brick of Vixens, you'll be getting, you have the choice to get the older ones, which are the better ones. And believe me, once they're unwrapped, you'd understand. It's like, well, it's like looking at a generic red versus like a supercharged I mean they're just beautiful they really are these are the colors no oh, that's not even the fact that's the newer pack 550 see 550 this is the newer pack guaranteed so anyway these are so beautiful on open meaning for for now for what they are you know now they crackers but they really do make the color. It's not something you have to replay 30 times and say, oh, oh, I think I saw a green spark. Meaning they, like, really work. But anyway, I'm just glad I got a brick and I got a few packs to shoot. And that's the end of that. So, until next time, and there will be a next time. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. And uh, hasta la vista. Okay? I'll be going up to the farm soon. And... Uh, um, well, we'll see what I do up there, I don't know. Alright, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed the vid, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while to upload this baby. Alright, have a good one out there.